Good morning, everybody. Hello, welcome to another episode of Get It, Got It Good. I am your host, Naja Wohai, and today in the studio we have Dario Young. How's it going, everybody? Better known as what? Dario Young. That's my <laughs> you name. do? Yeah. But on the thingies, it always say, and yes, I say thingies as a vocabulary word. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> it says D. Young, right? I have three types of names, but yes, Dario Young is my stage name, and D. Young is my alias. <laughs> We're going to go with that. <laughs> hey, whatever works. But today's show, as always, is about getting you information, and today we want to talk about how you, at such a young age, got from this is what I want to do to actually following through and doing it. We will also put him on a spot today, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and so he can do some some balls for us um and then make sure you know where to go to get more information and then it's all good right <laughs> right so as you notice today i have on a hat what <laughs> how you get the hat how how did you get the hat <laughs> i wonder thank you thank you thank you no problem look and it's so having a match today right Fine. but just to be nice i have to take it off i don't know if you can see me you don't have to take yourself <laughs> I'll be like why is, why is the broom so low why is, why is the I'm proud of me anyway thank you for coming on today no problem thank you for having me yes so you guys I got the pleasure of meeting this one right here doing something that he's too cool to do for, <laughs> for now listen I don't dance often it just so happened I was dancing this day. I ain't got to dance. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, but you were dancing this day. You guys, yes. this guy can dance. You need to tag him in everything and say, hey, bust the move. I'm going to make sure he stays dancing because he is nice, okay? I appreciate it. And coming from the dance world, I can't let good dancers just get old and, and decrepit and bones are achy. He's too young for that. That was his excuse. That's my, it's I'm, not I'm gonna sticking happen. with it too. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, so how do people find you on IG, Facebook, and everything else? And remember, I said tag and say dance, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, my name is Dario Young, so D A E R I E L Young. Um, you can just search that anywhere. So, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Apple Music. I'm everywhere at the moment. So, look for me. I'm following on Spotify right now, actually. <laughs> but, you guys, thank you for joining us today. I have to say thank you guys because we're also live on, I have no idea what, <laughs> what, IG, Instagram, Instagram. <laughs> all kinds of things. What What are you live on? Instagram, too? I'm on Instagram. We're live several places today. It is what it is. Right, Make sure you right. tag me in that. <laughs> all right. So, let me start from the beginning, which wasn't that long ago because you're a baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got a so, okay, a lot of people say, this is what I want to do. And then they say, well, I live in the wrong place. I don't know the right people. How did you go from being just normal old neighborhood person to having your music actually on various platforms? I realized that I can reach a lot of people with the style of music that I make. That was the one thing to actually get out of the norm, so just get out of the same bundle or same hole that everybody else was in. And then after a while, just got more confident with putting my music everywhere, getting great feedback and stuff like that. So I just kept going through it, going with it and pushing it. And then eventually, we <laughs> I made a name. I made a name for myself. So. so then when you make a name, what does that look like? Does somebody reach out to you? Do you send it in? How does uh, that look? Both ways. So a lot of people do reach out to me um, for either features, shows, interviews, like today. And then also I reach out to other artists. I reach out to booking agencies. Like a lot of things happen as far as just trying to push the norm or push the story, push the headline, I should say. So just out of curiosity, do rappers have comp cards? Comp cards? <laughs> I guess they don't. <laughs> so what it is is a lot of times in... Um, fashion or you know modeling or uh acting and things like that you have this card and it has your picture in various different styles and you send it to booking agencies and they'll be like oh i like this person's look call them in for audition or whatever the case oh we got a press kit so okay guessing the same thing uh it's a portfolio with 
all of the things that you've done, your bodies of work, your like albums, mixtapes, what have you. Then there's our like live videos or shows that you've done and photos. So I'm guessing the same thing. Yeah, you anyway. Send it everywhere. Press kit. So you're on SoundCloud as well. Yes. Do you ever put new stuff on there? I haven't. Just because everything has been on Spotify, Apple Music, and we got a lot of stuff gearing up for the next year. So everything's pretty um, much going that way. But I will like show you. some love to SoundCloud <laughs> soon. I, <laughs> I would say just drop tidbits. So that way they can go bit. and direct them to the, <laughs> to right, the page. I'm of sorry, things on but SoundCloud. you know, you got to make your money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Apple Music's for it. That's what Spotify's for. But nah, exactly. I, I'll drop some things on SoundCloud. So you said you're gearing up for next year, right? Yes. What's going on? I don't want to give too much of what I have planned going forward, but there will be a lot of singles and some projects coming through. Any um, collaborations? A few. Uh, yeah, a few. A few. A few. Only a few guys. Only a few. <laughs> but no, you're talented enough to hold the album on your own. Yes. Your last album was what? Pressure from the East. Yes. Actually, you guys, I am like literally. I can show you my phone. <laughs> it's on my sound. I love that album. I wanted to play some, but somebody wouldn't send me a clean version. See, we we getting better with that. All right, we getting better with that. Uh, I'm gonna have variances <laughs> of both. Um, I didn't do it the last time, but I will do it going forward. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. So I was told by Mr. Peace and Love. Shout out, Mr. Peace and Love. Hi. I need to. Th don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> he's a he's another host. Okay. Um, I need a theme song. Theme song. <laughs> Hence. Looks like. I, but it can't have like cussing. I'm, I can do that. I'm very. I'm. Very diverse. Like I can do. I can do that. Y'all heard right? I can do that. Cause you know I do know a few artists, so we'll see. <laughs> like if you're serious, I'm hurt. I put them on the spot. <laughs> hey, look. I got you. Theme okay. So y'all heard me. No cursing. Clean. And then we could do an intro video, and he can dance. <laughs> Now we pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll dance too. All right, all right, that's fair. We're going to do a collab video, <laughs> intro, dancing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. We heard this, right? Y'all heard it too, right? I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> it's called... Being I set them up. <laughs> it's called being blessed. Hey, why not, why not? <laughs> hey, look, you know, what's the point of knowing great people and great artists if you can't ask for favors? Ah, <laughs> that is true. Gotta love me. I'll give you that. Okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> so, I know everybody want to know if you guys have never heard any of, and, and look, I've been posting it everywhere, so go to my um, IG, my Facebook, my, what else do I have? Excuse Name me. something else. Twitter. Twitter, yeah. I just kind of cold post because I never log on to Twitter by myself. MySpace. MySpace. Oh my goodness. Are you old enough for MySpace? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No, everything. I even have, like, what is Tumblr? Like, uh, yeah. Good luck with that one. I have whatever the case may be. Find me, get it, got a good G3, whatever. Because I have always tagged you in things music also are you on youtube yes look it up on youtube but if you don't want to do that right now we're just put them on a spot <laughs> oh right now why not okay what do you want to do i guess i'm gonna dance now i'm just no. gonna I'm, I'm rap i'm gonna rap we can dance you need my say to that hey <laughs> all right go <laughs> i'll be quiet so we'll just woosa and you can go whenever you want <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. All right, we're going to put the hat back on. All right, cool. <laughs> Got to get my hip-hop move. <laughs> okay. All right. It's been a minute since I've been it without a hook. My words get put together clever just to view the image better not to overlook. It's crazy because I'm still overlooked. Nobody recognized the time and effort that perfection took. 
That's probably why my dreams are always questioned. I get shunned upon because I never put my music second. Instead of getting to listen and see it from my perspective, they always judging me based upon their own reflection of their past lives and the mistakes they made. So many lost dreams, they started to fade away. It's not prophesized, but I'll enjoy the ride. Are you with me now, rub against me, man, you decide. Men and words are two, everyone had that, and no matter how my pack and clad it, I never go and rewrite it, no matter how true it sounded, I'm always gonna weave around it, continually staying grounded and keeping my gun mounted, I'm just shooting for my dreams until I can't no more, that's when I die, I write my life within my words so I can always stay alive, and if I gotta be a freak of nature just to strive, I cut my chances short, if I never go and try, so am I wrong for doing what seems impossible, bouncing back from the past and maneuvering every obstacle, chasing chances at life, knowing everybody is watching you, looking within the mirror and seeing nobody stopping you. I got a lot to say, so I'ma put it all out. You never heard a song from me before, you don't know what I'm about. I know I shed enough tears to go in the drought, and now you're holding on to me, and I'm the one that's falling out. That's history, emotionally and physically. But if I told you how I felt, it'd probably break the chemistry. And if I press it down the side, it'd probably be the end of me. And making you my enemy will be enough to finish me. <laughs> alright, alright, I'ma cut that. I'ma I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Had a little bit more, but I'm straight, I'm straight. Uh, <laughs> hey, that was nice. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. So I always go, how do people freestyle? Because, you know, all artists are not freestylers, right? They can write, which is fine, and then some can just flow off the top of their head, which is fine. But to be able to do both, quick So thoughts. in <laughs> some circumstances, I definitely can go off the top. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm a lot more comfortable when it's written, I'll be honest. However, I do have the ability to freestyle off the top in certain or most circumstances, like on the spot in most cases, but I don't like to be put on the spot too often. <laughs> but as an artist, you got to, so it is what yeah, it is. Yeah. But it's definitely a challenging thing just to have words come up that rhyme and make sense with punchlines off the top of the dome it's a little bit challenging at times but i've gotten better over time so i know a lot of the times people automatically assume get out my hip-hop moves <laughs> um people automatically assume that you know rappers you could tell if they have a, a big vocabulary or not based on their ability to flow with and without profanity mm -hmm. so what would you say to the youth coming up as far as boosting their vocab game how important is that it's very important and the reasons why is when you use basic words you don't I mean it really depends on what artist you're or what lane you're trying to go into but let's just speak on hip-hop trying to go over people's heads with bars or just trying to paint a story like a lot of words are needed to be painted like a story to be painted correctly and vividly um, most times, if you are just a simple artist or you just rap about, like, regular the norm. stuff. Yeah, the norm. I mean, you don't need a big vocabulary to do it. So there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I appreciate all forms of art. So what do you think about today's artists? And I know because I am more old school than you, right? So what do you think about the past artists and the storytelling capabilities versus today's artists, which you have maybe some storytellers, maybe some hook machine makers who just know the formula <laughs> and some of the ones that I really don't even know what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, serious, right? Um, now, I right, compared to how it is now, uh, to me, I just see stories are a little bit put in, they're like they're more in depth, essentially. Like Kendrick Lamar, mm -hmm. for instance. Mm -hmm. He says a lot to tell his story compared to like I use J. He definitely used a lot of a lot of bars and a lot of catchphrases and stuff like that to get his story across, but it was never in depth as Kendrick Lamar's is. Um, but as far as the people who aren't really storytellers, I don't really know. Which do you prefer? Uh, I'm, I'm more in today's now, so my biggest influence has always been J. Cole. How he paints stories has always been. I always felt like he was talking to me most of the time. And even if he wasn't talking to me, I could put myself into that person's shoes and feel it. And that's kind of where I got my imagery from of what type of artist I wanted to become. I wanted to be able to tell stories for everybody. Mm -hmm. 
but that was a, that was my influence in the music. So yeah, so then if you're following that template, right? Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel as though you know blowing up on a really huge level, you'll have to compromise, or you're just gonna make your lane that way? It's been so the good thing, the great thing about me is I'm very versatile. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as rapping on trap beats or rapping on hip hop beats or storytelling, slowing it down, I've always been able to do it all. So there's no, to me, there's no way I can overcomplicate it later down the road. Like, depending on how I feel today, I walk into the studio and I, I feel like rapping on a trap beat. Get it? I mm -hmm. just feel like, I feel like just talking. Or I'm in my feelings a little bit. Let me just go ahead and express a couple of stories. I need love. <laughs> sorry. I, uh... <laughs> I mean, I, all kinds of stuff pop up. Okay, so when did you realize that you could rap? 18. 18. Wait, that was like yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> that's when I started. Y'all, I will continually <laughs> pick because that's just what I do, you know? <laughs> I started at 18. I was rapping with my friends. I realized I can do it. Uh, like, I just realized that that was a thing for me. So when did you, so you never knew you could rap. You decided to just play around with your friends. You realized you could do it. What took you from that little playtime hobby fun to this is what I want to do? I got with a team of people doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I realized how talented I was. And then I started taking that and then started getting serious. Before I was like kind of in the middle, mm -hmm. like I kind of want to do this, but I kind of want to join the military or get a new a job or anything like that. And then I realized that's a big difference. It, it is. <laughs> that's actually how this whole thing started from me following what everyone else thought that I should do, and that's kind of how I started getting serious about music. Before everyone either a wanted me to go to college or military, and I even signed up for the military. Hmm. Until I realized that that's, I can't live someone else's life. I only can live mine. Wait, wait, pause. Freeze frame. Did we hear that? <laughs> this is something I always say all the time, you guys. When I always say at the end of the show, be an original, not a copy. You cannot be an original if you're following somebody else's dreams. You can't be happy. You have more illnesses. <laughs> you, do, you do things you don't want to do. You're evil. It's just too many things to go wrong unless you follow your own dream. However, it takes strength and courage to follow your own dream, right? Yes. So do you get a lot of pushback? I did before. Before my whole family didn't follow my whole music. Everybody thought I should be doing something else wasting time making music but eventually like even my mom who's now one of my biggest supporters in the beginning wasn't really a supporter hi moms hi. your mom looks so pretty oh, pretty so good <laughs> <laughs> she does <laughs> but as time went on and as she saw the dedication and the progression and how much time i was spending she started becoming like she started coming around and now she listens to Probably my music almost every day. Uh, same thing with family, friends. The only people that really thought I could do this was like the, my team at the time. And now the whole world pretty much knows that I'm very gifted. So what happens a lot of time, you get that original pushback, and then once people see you're serious, then they have to respect that and treat it as such. So definitely, you have to go through that initial fire. Yeah, you <laughs> got to do it. You got to like two groups so you got first the believers mm -hmm. and then that won't see you won't see it as something serious until they realize how serious you're taking mm -hmm. it and then you got the people who don't believe that this is going anywhere until you start making money from it and everybody want to jump on you got like yeah, two groups i knew you can do it i knew you would make it <laughs> yeah i know you're phony <laughs> pretty much but that's in everything i don't care what profession it is right so where do you see yourself in like 12 months, three years, five years? Like, what do you want to do? Shows all over the world. Filling up stadiums. That's it. Any people you would love to do a collab with? Logic. <laughs> Just, we're from the same area. 
feel like I can match him. Like, we, we good. We good. Uh, that's one of the people that's on my my radar at the moment. But ultimately, I'm willing to work with anybody. Uh, I'm open to it. Paid, though. Paid. Paid. <laughs> yes, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make that money. I mean, there's a point, and a lot of times you'll find that people always come back to you, and especially the ones who didn't believe at first, and they say, hey, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Why don't you do this? For free. Even though you guys, I did tell them for free, right? <laughs> <laughs> just putting it Dire out there. circumstances, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but just think, that means... His song will be getting played all of the time, which is great promotion. See, Always tagging. It's a win-win. Gotta look at the circle, the circle of life. Yes. Hey. A lot of people want handouts for nothing. Gotta think. It's not always about the cash. It comes back to cash. <laughs> Business 101. Win-win. I think that's understandable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just take a picture like that. Do that everywhere now. We got issues, I know. Anyway, so you want to work with Logic, and this is the DMV area. Is sure. there anybody who, besides that, did you want to work with that you know off the top of your head? Not really off the top of my head. I'm just open to a lot of new things. So it doesn't matter which lane it's in, unless, unless we're talking about some real crazy stuff that I don't believe in. But... I'm open for everything. I'm very versatile. So, so we're in the go go area, right? Right? Okay. Can you rap on go go? I have never tried it, but Wale has did it, so why can't I? <laughs> hey, challenge! <laughs> Make sure you tag him and say, dance and rap <laughs> to go go. See, you know, there's a thing called coming out of your comfort zone, right? My manager currently tells me that every day. And every day of my life. Hello, Anthony. Shout out. <laughs> hey. AB. <laughs> out of your comfort zone. For real, though, guys, you cannot grow and go anywhere without stepping out of your comfort zone. You don't got to go and jump off the cliff, but little by little. It changes. Mm -hmm. Before, I used to rap on just the same type of beats, and I started opening up, and now I'm trying to just tweak my sound and perfect my craft. So. Now, have you ever battle rap? I, that's too high stress that's for me. I, just like yeah, battle dancing. No, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not. I, I enjoy watching battle rap. I've been to a couple battle rap events. However, it's not my lane. No, no, no. <laughs> not I mean, you also got to know what you're good at. I can't crump. <laughs> right? Me either. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tag him and say crump. <laughs> Matter of fact, next time you come in, we're going to have the camera set up, and we're just going to dance, right? All right, I'm down. No, I'm here. I'm, 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 with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. See, I'm holding to all kinds of stuff. So somebody go ahead and write down all of the things that he promised to do <laughs> so that we can hold him I accountable. I have promised everyone. <laughs> it's called accountability. I don't like that word. Accountability. <laughs> it's called growing up. It's accountability. <laughs> I got bills. I got house payments or car payments and stuff. Man. Don't be all. Yeah. Welcome to adulthood. I don't like it. Whatever. <laughs> and as y'all DCians say, youngin. Shout out DC. Shout, shout out, out Baltimore. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> shout out Maryland. Let's just say that. <laughs> right? In, in this area. So a lot of people have always said that the DMV, depending on where you live, you don't always get off. But once you get large, you got to move. Do you think you'll ever have to, like, skip coast? <laughs> That's a very, very uh, intriguing question. <laughs> See, vocab. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get back to you on that note. <laughs> hey, you never know. I would love to make it in my own city. I would love to make it here. However, if... However what? If you got to do it, you got to do it, gotta right? I got to do what I got to do to get on. So what do you think about, you know, how D.C. support their own, how Baltimore support their own, how Merlinders support their own? I mean, because there's various things. For example, like Drew Hills from Baltimore, but it seemed like D.C. showed Drew Hill more love. Wale. Maya. It's a, 
that's a touchy subject because I don't want to say that it doesn't happen. Well, first off, it doesn't happen as, mo as often as it should. I see Atlanta, I see California, it's straight love for their artists. It's really hard to find that here, but it's the, it depends on A, what type of music you make. Mm -hmm. So the, the scene. The, yeah, mm -hmm. the demographic of the type of music it is or where we're at is the trap scene. I'm not that. So you either A, have to appeal to that, be versatile, which I am, or C, just get out. But ultimately, like I said, I'm gonna try my hardest to make it for my own city. And I'm making a name for myself out here now, so there's nothing, there's, ain't no telling. It is what it is. It you is rather, is. you can jump around, right? I can go. <laughs> but I plan on just touring around the, uh, around the world anyway, doing shows, so we're gonna see who can, where the buzz really comes from. But right now, it is, the buzz is now in my home town, so I'm all right. What's one place you would love to California. go? California. Cali. California love. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go again. He can't help himself. <laughs> yes, California. Uh, that's always been my sights. I was actually born in Hawaii. It's crazy. Hawaii. <laughs> but California. California for the music or for the naked ladies? Uh, definitely oh, for they. The music. Yeah. And to see my mom. She lives in California. Oh, she does? Yeah. So did she come all the way out here last time for nah. your album release? Nah, she, she moved. She moved. Yeah. Job she bounced. Somewhere. She left. I seen your promo video and I forgot. I was like, shoot. I, if I had my studio name on the back, <laughs> that would have been hot. I didn't get the studio name painted on there until after the fact. Yeah, I'd be like that. It's okay. It'd be okay if he goes back and tags Dance Solutions. I got <laughs> you, Jackie. Yes, yes, That's what that meant. It'd be Jack, like that. It's okay. Jack. There was a comma at the end. You ain't see it. You should be taking notes on it. Next release party is there. We're having it there. We're having it there. Having a party. Hey, the next thing is my 40th, though. Yeah. Yes, I just told you my age. I'm kidding. Anyway. Next is my 26. I just told you my age. What? Wait. California love. Okay, okay, okay. However... This has been fun, <laughs> but it's quick. It's yeah, it's 30 minutes. Quick. Yeah, so let me do, what is it, 30 minutes? I guess you said 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, got it good in like record space, right? Okay, you guys, I love that you guys tuned in. I love that you tuned in and I love that you tuned in um, to this edition of Get It, Got It Good. Now, remember, to so always tune in on WBGR Health and Wellness Channel at 1130 a.m. You can always come back and find us. If you like what you see, definitely tag a friend, repost it, um, shout out some comments. If you're a business, definitely drop your, your business in there. I'll shout you out on air if you're lucky, okay? <laughs> but remember, be an original. I'm saying it again. Be an original and not a copy because an original is always worth more than a copy. Have a great day, you guys. Bye. Like